Today, we're moving out of the garage and coming back into the house. Another roommate has moved out of Battle 2 Overlord headquarters. So, we're gonna take the opportunity today and film in the semi-empty room. And another reason, that next CRT in the garage, I have a really, really bad feeling about that one. Like, I can't explain it. There's just something, there's just really bad vibes and bad energy in there. Hopefully, it's all my imagination, and when we return to the garage, everything is okay. But for now, we're taking a break, coming in the house. Today, we're going to do something that's been suggested to me many times, but I just haven't had the tools to do it. We're going to be battle tubes on multiple CRTs at once with this thing. But this thing, what is this? What do they call these? AV switcher? AV splitter? Well, there's no switch on it, so it's a splitter. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up the NES over to this input over here on the left. And then we're gonna hook up each one of these beautiful babies to one of the outputs over here on the right. So, let's go over the CRTs. Beautiful. And if you look really, really close between all three of them, you might even notice a pattern with them. They're all by the same brand, Sansweet, all nine inches, and two of them have the exact same model number and date of manufacture. But the places I acquired each one of them was completely different. This first one I've had for so long that I don't even have footage for it. I got it right at the beginning of my channel, and I had an idea for an episode involving it, but never got around to filming it. I realize now that it just wasn't its time yet. Its time is now. And the other two were found three and a half years later, one week apart from each other. The second one I found at the flea market. Same exact model number and date as the first one, from August 2002, neglected and stuffed in a plastic bin. And the third one, my dad found at Goodwill. Which is rare to find a CRT at Goodwill these days, unless it's small. I guess they'll take CRTs 9 inches or less. This one is a DVD combo set, not VHS like the first two. Manufactured only 6 months later, in 2003. All three were basically free. So when I found this splitter one day at the flea market, I knew it was all meant to be. Come on. Looking okay so far? This uh, red light's not lit up yet. Hopefully it will when we uh, turn some stuff on. Something I wanted to mention real quick is in true Battle to Overload style, I did not try this out first, so I don't even know if it works. And I didn't try out the CRTs either to see if they worked. So maybe nothing works. I don't know, but we're going to find out real quick. I 
I guess it would have been better to hook it up first. I don't want to just plug all these into the front. There will be wires hanging out all over the screen and that would look really ugly. I want to plug it in the back, but I got to pull the table out. And I also realized I need another hole one of these cables. I'll have to go find one of those here in a second. Geez, and the cords were still on the back? Sometimes magic tricks are not shortcuts. Oh, I think I hooked all of it up right. The DVD one does not have a video in on the back, so we had to plug it in into the front. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on each TV one at a time. We're going to set the video, we're going to set the TV input to video, and then we're going to turn on the NES for the big success or the big failure. I can actually hear a high-pitched whine coming from some of these, and that's rare. I'm 42. I'm old. I don't hear that anymore, but pretty cool. Okay, time for three turn-on tests. Starting with the original. It came on. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're on. We're good. Actually, no, we're not good. That was line two. I gotta change it to line one because two is in the front, one is in the back. Okay, CRT number two. Turn on test. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Already on line one. Okay, well, the good news is that if the splitter does not work, the CRTs are working so far. We can play it on them after, but let's try number three and try the splitter and see what happens. Turn on test number three. Oh, yeah. Oh! Whoa, DVD, see that? So that still works. And then we got our line, our video. You're good to go, baby. Isn't it great when stuff just works? The red light still has not come on yet on the splitter. But we're gonna do it anyway. Here we go. Here's the big moment. Please. Please. Yeah. Oh my, there's a blown speaker in here somewhere. They're working, the splitter's working. I'm a happy toad. I am so happy right now that this worked. So only two of them had the volume even turned up. This one didn't have the volume turned up at all. Yeah, that one's kind of a little bit blown, that speaker. And this one's supposed to be stereo. Something's messed up on the... This speaker over here is good, but this one over here... Or this one's good, but this one over here is a little bit 
something going on there. So, what we're going to do, turn up the volume on this one a little bit, and beat some fucking battle tunes. Triforce, hooked up, splitter style. Something like that. Let's go. Oh, gotta turn the volume up. <laughs> This is pretty rad. What the hell? Sure, I could adjust the settings for each one of them, but I'm gonna leave them like they are. Gives each one of them a little bit of its own character. Triple Turbo Tunnel, baby. Oh my god, it's over. <clears throat> god damn, that was fucking good. Well, we're almost there, so... We've got three CRTs. How do we spec the controller? Maybe. We got to do a triple spike. Now that's how you do a controller spike, baby. Yeah, I think I might have thrown out part of my back during the last spike. But anyway, I'm very happy everything worked. I'm glad the splitter actually worked. The light, the light never came on, it's still off. The big question now is, do you consider this cheating? I mean, we got three Battle 2's end screens at the same time, not individually. I chose these three specifically because they were the same or similar to each other. I don't plan to do this too often, I just thought it was fun, and I've had some subscribers and some fans request it. So is it cheating? Let me know what you think in the comments. So I guess the only thing left now to do is we got three seal peels. Number one. I want to put it on the upper right. All right, I guess I'm moving the CRT. That was a good peel the seal for number two. I want them to fall over. Peel the seal, number three. That was a good peel the seal.
Probably should have. Probably should have. Probably. This motherfucker doesn't stop hitting this. Probably should have hooked it up, hooked, hooked it up first. We're gonna do something that's been suggested to me many times. Suggested to me many times. Suggested to me many times, but many times, many times. I just haven't done it because I haven't had the tools. Man, what the fuck? We're gonna do something that's been suggested to me many times, but I just haven't done it because I haven't had the tools, and I just haven't done it because I haven't done it. Also, the overload style, so. It might not, it might not, it might not even work. Whew. Okay, I think I hooked them up. Oh, hooked up, hooked all of them. I think I hooked, I think I hooked them up, but why, what the fuck can I, why can't I see them? Ow. So what we're going to do is we're going to put, we're going to turn each TV on, and we're going to set the video, the input, we're going to set it to video, man, that's not even what we're going to do. Okay, I think I hooked all of it up, right? So what we're, all of it up, all of it up, right? The first, first thing that, the, oh my god. Whew, I think I hooked up. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty fun. I'm very happy everything worked out. And, whoa, my tripod's collapsing. What the bullshit?